Okay, what's up everybody? I hope everybody's been enjoying their day so far. Today's New Year's Eve. We're getting ready in a few hours or so to be going into the New Year of 2020. I hope everybody ready, you know, everybody make it to see 2020. And today I'm going to be uh, discussing the medications I take and what they do in your body. Okay, starting off, I'm going to be going with the thigh, man. The thigh man is used to help with your heart, your muscle, and to maintain the energy level in your body. It also plays a big part in your glucose metabolism. And um, this is the uh, medication. Yeah. And uh, this is the, th the thigh man. It's just a little white pill, nothing too much. And stuff, but you know, I hope it ain't too many people out there that gotta go through this. But if you do, th these are some of the things that you're probably gonna need and stuff. And next, I'm gonna be going over the folic acid. The folic acid helps create the protein in your body, which we all need protein. There's nothing wrong with ha having this medication of the folic acid to help you out with the protein in your body. And this is the And the folic, folic acid is it's a little little yellow pill, something like the thigh, man. Nothing too much. So, but you know, if you taking these, take take it. You got to got to take them like you're supposed to, because if you don't, then some, something can end up happening. Something be in the hospital or something. And so, but next I'm gonna be going over the fluido cortisone, cortisone, and the fluido cortisone. The fluidocortisone helps give us the salt level that we need in our body because being having adrenal leukodystrophy, we don't, our body, it doesn't produce enough salt in our body. So, you know, the fluidocortisone, it plays a key part in that. And so, I mean, the fluidocortisone is just, just a little, little, little tiny white pill. You know, something that it won't hurt you. I know a lot of people don't like to take medication. You know, being on, I got used to just taking it, taking it without water and stuff. I just just took it and stuff. But um, the next pill medication that I'm gonna be going over with is gonna be the cyanocobalamin, which uh, is also known for uh, vitamin B12. And what it does, it is uh. It helps you with your vitamin deficiency in your body. And we all we all need vitamins in our body. So you know your vitamin B12, your cyanocobalamin or whatever it's called, it's gonna help you with that. So I'm just giving y'all keys to things that you know what I'm saying that you could talk to your doctor about to try to get on if you're going through a dental because like I said, I would love to see a lot more of y'all live past, past 15, past 20, live to be 40 or more, like me. And so, uh, next, we're going to be going over the, um, the le levothyroxine, which is also known for centroid. And the centroid, it helps with your thyroid gland, which... Without this, your thyroid gland is, is really not functioning right. You know, that's that. And I take take it once a day. Okay. What it look like, it's a little pink pink pill. Not too big. Easy to, easy to manage. Okay. And next, ne next is this one. Hydrocortisone. This, this, this is a major factor that you that you really need to see about if you if you're having adrenal leukodystrophy. This one right here, it helped me get through most of my life, my childhood, and everything. My doctor, they tell me now, you know, with me, they say if you get sick, anything going on, make sure you double up on that hydrocortisone. And that hydrocortisone, it's it's a steroid that reduces, reduces the chemicals in your body. <laughs> but, um, you know, that, 
That's a, that's a key factor right there, that hydrocortisone. And next, I'm going to be, last but not least, is that Kefra. Let's see. And the Kefra, the Kefra plays a part of maintaining your body to where you don't have the seizures. Me, myself, I haven't had a seizure since I was eight years old, like I described to y'all before in my last video. But the Kefra, if you're having seizures, it don't matter if you're not, ha if you don't have adrenal leukodystrophy, if you have any sort of seizure. Look, talk to your doctor and trying to get on the Kefra. Kef Kefra is real good at maintaining, it helps you, you know, just to maintain, because you don't want to keep having seizures after seizures. Seizures, it, it really, it messes with your brain. And it, it can get you to where to leave you in a coma. And I don't want to see none of y'all have to go through none of that. So make sure, you know what I'm saying, if you're going through your seizures, just talk to your doctor. A ask him about the Kepra. He'll tell you. You know, because my doctor, he told me, even though I'm not, I haven't had a seizure, he told me, you know, it can help make sure I don't have a seizure. So, you know, that's why I got the Kepra. And... That's the end of my video, and I thank all y'all for watching with me. I th thank y'all for, you know, your subscriptions, your likes, your comments, and, you know, the notification bell. What, everything y'all do, you know, it matters, and I just appreciate it. And I'm going to be going over everything with y'all, going through these days, just explaining everything, trying to get y'all as much help as y'all I can give y'all. I just want to see everybody make it. And if there's anything I can do to help y'all, just let me know, comment, ask me a question. It don't matter. I'm here. This is what I'm here for. And thank y'all. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, guys. Subscribe and comment below. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the bell for notifications. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.